Okay, guys, so I'm here to talk to Major League Baseball. And over the next week and a half, two weeks, I'm going to do these videos where I give you suggestions on who the borderline contention teams and the playoff contention teams should acquire at the game. And the first video of this so-called series is why the Kansas City Royals should trade for Daniel Murphy. And there are a couple of reasons why I think it. Even though the Kansas City Royals are 40 green, 49, getting a AL Central, they're nine, nine games, by, eight games behind the Tigers in the division. I don't believe they're going to be sellers just because they want to stay face with the fans. They don't want to be like, oh, we traded for gang shield. It's not working out, so let me train him to a contending team. They don't want to look bad, basically, for training Will Myers. So I think they're going to do a couple small moves to try to stay in contention as long as possible. And if you look at the Kansas City Royals, their main issue this season has been hidden. They have a 256 batting average with which is eighth in the American League. They have scored 365 runs, which is 12th in the American League, and hit 60 home runs, which is also 12th. Their main, their main issue is hitting. And to go even further, their primary main issue with the lineup is second base. At second base right now, they're playing three guys, Johnny Gibb, Akela, Miguel K. Hyatt and Elliot Johnson. When out of the last 10 or 15 games, Donnie Gilbert-Kella has been starting for them and he hasn't done that well. He's batting 206, three Four RBI and zero home runs. And, and yes, Miguel Kehara behind him is doing very well. In, in 30 games play, he's batting 278, two home runs, 12 RBI. But realistically, Miguel K. Hyatt isn't an everyday player anymore. And the good option at second base is Elliot Johnson, who's batting 210, has two home runs and nine RBI. So, they clearly need help at second base to try to stay in contention. And since 
the New York Mets are basically shattered at the deadline. I think they'll be willing to trade a guy like Daniel Murphy who's batting 276 homers and getting 9 RBI. He's basically a gap to gap here. He won't give you that much power. He's basically a re-off if you want to put him there or a two-hole here. And I can that's a perfect guy for the Kansas City Royals to acquire because he can improve me over the guy you have at second base and he has only about $1.4 million left on his deal this year so it's a relatively economic option. I believe if you put him in the two-hole behind Alex Gordon, he could provide some pop. He might end up with 12 homers and about 70 RBI with a 280 average, I'm guessing. And I can guess for the king at the Royal. Me. And you may be saying, well, who are they going to give up? I believe the next, the max would be interested in a guy like the Gary Gerson. In 23 games, he batting 247, he had two home runs and 12 RBI, but he has speed and he would fit the ballpark. He has 12 going bases in 23 games, and he would be a decent upgrade from what they're getting at in center field. Wiki Wanga Garris. Wanga Garris in 47 games. He's batting 234, one homers, 11 RBI. While the fans might not like. The Kansas City Royals getting rid of Gary Gerson, I think the front office will do it just to save face because, like I said, they don't want to look bad for giving up Will Myers for losing season, so I can get the Try your best to save face. So guys, tell me what you think of this. Peace.